hello everybody and uh, welcome from a Friday night uh, <laughs> here at the campsite and from Jasmine Meyer, the captain's chair. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've had um, an afternoon at work, checking people in, making sure that everything's all ship shape um, and uh, everybody's happy and that seems to be the case. Uh, we've also, um, well we've been in Jasmine Mire for about a week and a half now so we we sort of picked her up on Monday the 24th uh, stayed overnight at the dealers um, drove away Tuesday afternoon after having one or two bits and pieces re-looked at and then um, we have been uh, to the um, Abbey, I think it was Abbey Green campsite near Wem, and we've been back down to um, Alderstead Heath uh, near Caterham, uh, just at the junction of the M25 and M23. So um, we've had a few trips out, and um, she's performed really, really well. I really like that. Um, the hills are almost effortless even with the you know with the amount of weight we we carry around it, it really isn't a problem going up hills doesn't slow down um, the dashboard flicks up things to tell me when to change gear it's a manual gearbox six speed um, so we've done really well we've not really been um, much over 50 miles an hour and I do notice that 50 miles an hour on the motorway does seem to be a very comfortable um, sixth gear speed and we get um, third well the average uh, consumption reported on the trip computer is 33.3 um, miles per gallon um, if I <laughs> There's a there's a sort of an average over the trip um, that you do, and there's an instant uh, consumption reading as well. So if you switch it on that in sixth gear, foot off the accelerator, cruising down down a slope, you get 99.9 .9 miles to the gallon. I guess I guess if you were always doing that, going downhill in sixth gear. Uh, and not no acceleration I guess you would get quite a lot you'd go quite a long way so anyway but the average is about 30 33 um, you know it's it's just over 30 to the gallon so I'm happy with that, that that's that's pretty good um, we did fill up refuel again uh, she was pretty much empty we were you know, we were sort of pushing pushing our luck a bit. Um, the sort of range, we get, a, you know, um, the different trip computer thing has a range uh, reading on it um, that tells you how many miles you can go on the amount of fuel you got at the current sort of speed and traffic. And that changes uh, depending on, you know, your current fuel consumption. So we had uh, about... Uh, you know, we were coming back up from Aldershot Heath and we had um, 130 miles to go and the range said uh, 240. So I thought, oh, okay, you know, it's almost twice as much. Um, not quite, but twice as much range as distance. Anyway, uh, we got off of the M6 and the range computer said zero miles. And the gauge was reading... Like really well into the red it was like a tiny bit you know maybe a needle width off of empty so we were pushing our luck a bit but we did make it to the um, petrol station or the, the fuel station um, and filled her up with diesel managed to get 85 litres in um, unfortunately it wasn't we couldn't 
get to a Costco and we paid uh, one pound 18 I think something like that so 9p over mm. um, what we could have got it at Costco so 85 litres times 9 pence equals the amount of money we wasted basically at buying it there but we wouldn't have gone the extra 20 miles to Costco to get it um, even though it would have been worth it so well I mean what what's, was it about 8, eight quid something like that anyway um, so um, we We've been asked a couple of questions about how we're going to manage going to supermarkets and shopping and stuff like that. And, yeah, we we sort of wonder about that too. Um, we've been to Costco, easy to shop in Costco. They've got a huge car park, easy to park. We did go to Banbury. There's a nice little shopping centre at Banbury uh, just off the M40. Um, and although, you know... We parked there, but we did take up four car parking spaces. <laughs> like, you know, the the parking spaces are only like, I think four meters long. And they're probably two meters wide. And we're seven and a half meters long by 2.35. So nearly 2.4 meters wide. So we, well, I just, I just found a, a spot where I could take up four bases um, there were loads of parking spaces so we weren't sort of disturbing anybody and we didn't leave it unattended so we could have moved if people got a bit um, anti um, so we have been to a couple of shopping places but we've also had uh, another Asda shop delivery um, one of the things we have had delivered well one of the things we bought at Costco, this, um, Kirkland Water. Uh, we got like 30, 36 bottles for almost no money at all. Um, really, really cheap water, which is good because um, it sort of comes free out of the tap outside for us. But we tend to like bottled water because we can carry it around with us and have a slurp when we need to. And we bought a whole load of other soft drinks. Um, one of which I had today, which was the uh, Bundaberg Blood Orange uh, Sparkling Drink. Absolutely blooming gorgeous. It's an Australian company, Bundaberg. Uh, it even sounds sort of Australian. Um, really, really nice, uh, you know, very very nice indeed quite expensive i understand i don't know wendy's not telling me how much things cost these days um i think i might be shocked at, <laughs> at the prices anyway um the reason we're buying a lot of soft drinks that are nicer um, than just the ordinary sort of coke or pepsi or anything like that um i'm i'm trying to have a um healthier diet and we as it's right at the beginning of August we have both decided that we will have an August that is free of alcohol so we're not going to drink any alcohol if we can manage it now it's the 4th of August the end of the day and we haven't had any so we're four days in and not doing bad and we you know usually six seven o'clock um you know in the evening we'd we'd be into a bottle of wine or a, a beer or um, a vodka and tonic or gin and tonic whatever as an evening sort of drink with um you know sort of pre pre dinner um drinks which is sort of a habit we've got into um and i know you know many people might be thinking oh habat habitual drinking of alcohol <laughs> that sounds like alcoholism but g clearly we're not um well i don't know whether it's clearly we're not alcoholics we're not alcoholics um we're um 
we just like a drink. We are we do drink heavily at times. That is very true. Um, anyway, so we we've, we've decided to give up alcohol for August. See how we go. Um, and we've been eating a lot more sort of healthier food, lots of salads and stuff with fresh vegetables. Um, we're going to try and keep on doing that, although. You know, the working lifestyle that we have at the weekends doesn't lend itself to that sort of process. You know, um, having, well, if we're, you know, if we're starting work at sort of 8.30 in the morning, going and cleaning toilets, you've got to get up early um, to have a, you know, a decent made breakfast. Then you, then you've got to have, time for lunch and, and making a, making a decent lunch that is healthy um, and consuming that in sort of half an hour or an hour while you've got other stuff going on which is always the case when we're working always something going on and then trying to get a decent meal cooked for the evening almost you know it's near impossible I mean we you know tonight Friday night we finished um, shut the shop at um, shop and reception we shut that at eight time we'd um done all the other bits and pieces like cashing up counting all the money um making you know making sure that was all correct and done and you know doing making sure the credit card things were right then making sure that we you know cleared up the um sort of common room area where the pool table is and locked another gate and stuff like that anyway all the stuff like that it was half past eight quarter to nine by the time we sort of got back here and then you know we're out again at 10 uh, just after 10 and we've just got back it's 10 30 10 45 now and um you yeah, know we've managed to cram a meal into that sort of schedule as well and the only way we managed to do that was we had we put um, some meat and veg into a slow cooker uh, this morning and you know set that to cook um, throughout the day but you know I'm I'm not I'm not keen on that sort of one pot meal stuff I mean, don't get me wrong it was a nice meal um, you know very tasty and I think reasonably healthy um, but you know it's difficult to have that sort of healthy lifestyle when you've got such a, a hectic, pressured schedule on those weekend days that where, you know, on a campsite, those are the busiest days. They're always going to be, and you're always going to be under pressure. Um, you know, even, you know, we even get stuff missed uh, on the work schedule uh, at times, um, purely because there's so much going on um so anyway uh but that's that's where we are you i mean you might be able to tell that you know it's, it's late on and you know i'm rambling where, where are we yeah i'm rambling rambling anyway um so that's it we're gonna have a dry august uh, apart from water and um nice little sort of fresh fruit juices and stuff like that and we're having a healthy diet, but we'll let you know how all that goes um, in more vlogs as we do them. Anyhow, if you've got any other questions about what we do, um, the the new motorhome, uh, how that's getting on, uh, just ask in the comments below and we'll get back to you. See you again soon. Bye bye.